What is up, Warrior Rising Tribe? I'm Alyssa. I am the Director of Marketing and Media for Warrior Rising. Warrior Rising is the premier nonprofit to be for all veteran entrepreneurship. Today, we are with Fudo, who competed in Detroit and placed third overall of the pitch competitors. So we are going to be hearing a little bit about his experience, his business, and anything else that we feel like we're going to get into. So welcome, Fu. Hi, uh, thanks, Alyssa. Uh, my name is Fu Do, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Wingwave AI. Um, it was my honor to be a part of Royal Rising yeah. Pitch Competitions. And um, I, I was very grateful to be, uh, yeah. uh, be a running part of the competition. Um, so overall, it's a great experience for me and my company overall. Thank you. No, absolutely. And um, how was that uh, when they called your name out? Was that like, were you expecting anything or what what went through your head at that moment? I wasn't uh, I wasn't expecting to. Uh, first of all, I wasn't expecting to get selected at all because um, our company was uh, pre-revenue. So it, it, yeah. when I when I went through the boot camp, the Warrior Rising hat, it, we yeah. just um, we barely came up with an MVP. It's just an idea stage. And uh, I was very learned how to do a pitch deck. And, yeah. <laughs> and me and my team, we, we, we threw one in and then I was like, hey, I don't know, you want to get picked or not, I hope for the best. And then yeah. uh, the very last day, it was, I think it was almost five o'clock and then Preston called me and then he was like, hey, you got selected. And I was like, for what? And he was like, for Warrior Rising. And I was like, no way. So yeah, I got, so I, I was really excited. Um, you know, placing the third is, is even, even awesome, you know, because uh, my competitor is very, um, competitive um yeah. they they make revenue they they have a better business uh, model than i do and i i was just thinking to myself hey at least i get some screen time and that's that's about it <laughs> and then yeah. I, I didn't know they won in third place and then when they pronounced my my, my name I, I was i was very surprised i was very surprised to be honest yeah yeah, that's awesome. It was it was kind of cool getting to talk to you too cuz you're obviously not you had to travel a very long way and yeah. face some jet lag on the way in. And it was a very packed schedule, right? To, you know, we, right. we had you doing all kinds of stuff. You're like, when am I going to take a nap? Like, never. Yeah. Um, I flew 27 hours to get to Detroit. And, and, and the, the, the three three days event I was there, honestly, it just Tylenol and ibuprofen. I was popping in like crazy to keep myself <laughs> going. And, and when I was on stage, you can look at a picture too. I was... I was froze out and I was like, dude, I need some nap time. <laughs> that's <laughs> really what I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's really what I did. Um yeah, but but thank God everybody was motivated and um my peer and my competitor, they they motivated me and seeing everybody was trying to get their stuff together. Um yeah. Um, really motivated me. Um yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So what from the event stood out to you? Was there a highlight, a moment, or a piece of advice you were given? Like, what really stands out to you? What's, what stood out to me was uh, the ability to met a lot of people to expand my networking. Uh, I immigrated here about 10-ish year ago, and I wasn't having that many connections or networking to the American community. But thanks to this event, I was able to met, to met with a lot of great people founder uh, was such as Chris from uh, StockX, you know, uh, yeah. me and him ride on that, that ride on GM. Oh, you have to tell, we'll go into that after because. So, so uh, I mean, I met a lot of people, great people. I, I met uh, my competitor. Uh, I met, I met with them. It's not about competing too much. It's about uh, me learning from their experience and what they know that I don't know. Uh, that's that to me, that's more important than the competition itself to be uh, quite frankly. And receiving feedback from my pitch deck because, quite frankly, I was my first time ever on stage pitching about my yeah. idea. I pitched before with the investor, however, you know, just through Zoom and through small uh, conference, but never at at that scale before. So, but thanks for the opportunity, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. And for the, you know, we kind of alluded to GM, and a lot of the veterans have hilarious stories. I wasn't fortunate enough to be there; they couldn't fit all of us. But um, it was a good, like, little camaraderie building, I think, prior to. But tell us about your, your GM defense experience. I know. Because so, our first ride, um, there was a four-seater. And there was another four-seater, but they have backseat, too. And the yeah. moment I saw the backseat and I saw the terrain, I hop on the four-seaters only. Because I know if I were to sit in the backseat, I'll, I'll, I'll take all that, <laughs> that, you know, all that pothole and stuff. 
and you know, <laughs> and we went through it. it. It was it was amazing. And then we we did our first round, and then uh, after we get back to the uh, beginning spot, and the guy was trying to switch places with us, and it was like, hey, you want to switch places? I was like, nah. That's why me. <laughs> and the, so I was sitting next to the uh, to Chris, the stock X uh, founder, and me and him was looking at each other. I was like, now we good. We- <laughs> Because the guy wasn't having it. Yeah, I can tell that. <laughs> I was yeah. Like, that was good. Yeah, I heard that was awesome. It was just um, great technology, you know, and I was so, uh, I was being very grateful to be able to witness all that. Yeah. And, um, amazed of what we have accomplished so far as a, you know, the country and, you know, military. Yeah. Which is awesome. And I think it was just a good opportunity to kind of, get to know the other competitors and sponsors that we have. We have some incredible partners within the organization that really help bring these business showers to life. So it's really awesome to get to, for them to get to know you as well. Like this is where, like these are the people that, you know, these funds are going to. We are helping build these businesses with incredible entrepreneurs from all over the world, <laughs> essentially, right? Because you're, you know, you're not. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Right. Yeah, so to, what's your like piece of advice that you would share with other entrepreneurs in the like maybe exiting from the military um stepping into this world of business ownership i i would say uh, save money uh, save money why are you in the military if you are planning to uh venture on yourself because myself i'm bootstrapping my business right now and it's, uh, it's taking a toll on me uh, not just me but my family as well so i would say if you decided to uh but you, you still want to save money in general you know yeah yeah <laughs> that's a good adult tip period yeah, don't, don't spend all that money. Especially, uh, I think the last six months, um, they were doing the skill thrift program, and I was uh, able to do that. Um, save money. Um, maybe, um, you know, if your command allowed, do some side job at Walmart or something um, to save some money. And um, that, that really going to help you with your uh, business as, um, as far as tech-wise, I would say, because no one will believe your idea, and no one will fund your, um, your idea un- until you get some traction. So from that point toward that funding stage uh, and to prevent, I would say, in the investing war is stupid money from people. Yeah. Um, many people take too much uh, equity or term is ridiculous. Uh, save money. Uh, save money as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. I would say, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I know we got a chance to talk at the, uh, the before the gala um, about your business a little bit too, um, especially being in the AI space, right? It was very intentional to be in the tech space and things like that. So how do you, or what's the most important metric for you as you're tracking your business and maybe comparing it to other competitors? I would say the amount of uh, uh, data that my uh, business is receiving and, and the amount of feedback that my, uh, my user is giving back to my software I think that's the most important to me. Uh, with AI in general, data is 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 the most important key to to everything. Um, so that's yeah. my key one right there. Yeah, and so kind of tying that into your military experience as well. You have some experience with construction. You have some, you know, very hands on type stuff. What lessons have you learned in the military that carry over, or what skills did you possess and have in the military that have helped you become a better business owner? Being a servant leader. That right there, and I, I, and I'm not even lying. When you first start the business, and especially bootstrapping, um, yeah. you are relying your on your employees a lot. And um, being a servant leader helped me motivate them because they are taking a big risk on their career as well. Because they're quitting their job, they they are putting their family at risk for my dream, for for something that might not be. It's, it's not going to work out eventually. But if you want to be that transformational leader where hey i'm gonna point my five finger towards you it's not gonna work being a certain leader and offering uh and you know offering the the employees the best thing that you can offering them i think that is the key to uh, my success toward my business as well at this moment and especially where they're motivated enough to work over time and not asking for pay so that, yeah. that one thing right there it really yeah. really helped me a lot um yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I totally get it. So is there a piece of advice you've been given throughout the course of your life or a mantra or motto that you live by that you would want to share? Just be quiet and listen to a lot of uh, to people. That's what uh, my, my, yeah. my mentor, my father, and everybody said. Um, just if you don't know anything or even if you know something, be quiet and listen. You learn something. That, that yeah. is really my biggest pet peeve and I, I carry that throughout my life. 
Um, that's why at yeah. the event, um, I, I do social life, but I, I tend to let people talk more because I'm, I'm very curious about what, what they have. And to me, knowledge is power. I want to learn more and more. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I'm going to throw like a fun one your way. So if you were to be, or if your business could be like a fictional character, like a superhero or something like that, what, what, what do you think that would be? I don't know. I never, I don't, no one ever asked me that. I know. I, I, don't know. I figured not. I, I never, no one ever asked me about that. They only <laughs> asked is how many users I got. Yeah. You know what? That's, that's crazy. I, I never thought of that. You know, that's not something. I'm going to sit down with my team and think about it. I don't know. You have to think um, about it. Yeah. And, and, and I, I never watched cartoon that much. And um, I, yeah. I never watched TV that much as well. Uh, yeah. So I really don't know. I don't really know, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I like to ask that question because some people have some like crazy answers. Or I ask them if it was an animal, what would it be? They're like a falcon or you know a lion, like all these crazy things. So I'm like, oh yeah, I was sick. Yeah. So going back to Warrior Rising a little bit, how did you hear about the organization, and what what are your key takeaways? Like, what's the culture like um, from your perspective? So I, I heard from Warrior Rising from a couple of resources. Uh, I reached yeah. out to uh, Venerati. I don't know if you know Venerati or not. It was a platform. Yep. Uh, and one of the mentors was mentioning about Warrior Rising. And then I looked through it. And then I was trying to find a job at Walmart, honestly. Yeah. I, was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to find a job at Walmart. And then they have this uh, entrepreneurship uh, program. Uh, I wasn't, I couldn't remember it for military now, but entrepreneurship program. And I met with them, uh, one of those advisors, and they talk about what rising as well. And I met with VBOC, and then they talk about what rising as well. So, um, I'm, I'm so the organization name is out there. Er Everybody's kind of know what rising is. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome to hear because we're always trying to build brand awareness and. Um, I know we talk about it a lot too, usually before even the pitch competition is like every veteran that competes, including yourself, like earned their place there, you know, like it's not something that's just freely given. Like you had to work, right? You had to like not sleep and like train and like get racked around in a crazy vehicle um, right. to earn that third place. It didn't come without, <laughs> you know, some, some real effort on your end. Right. So um, we love to say that because it's like, you know, you can, you can give a veteran a fish or you can teach them how to fish, right? So they can change their life. and. I think that that's really awesome and getting to meet every single veteran and seeing what they take from it. I think it speaks a lot about the culture. But as far as your business, if you could sum up basically the brand's messaging in three words, how would you do that? Uh, AI for construction? Three words? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like for, um, for, for share on, if you could just like your brand's message or your mission, like what you're trying to achieve, like would it be like innovation or, you know... Definitely like innovations and yeah. uh, I don't know, um, personal assistance, I would say. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. What's the what's the biggest lesson you've learned while being a business owner? Um Besides I learned money. I, <laughs> I learned this from people. I learned this from other entrepreneurs, honestly, but yeah. And I, I would tell this I, I learned this and, and going through it, you you hear that one thing, but you're going through this different thing is hire slow, fire fast. That that is the key. That is the key, especially your bootstrap. Yeah. If you if you think that this person doesn't fit in your business, hire them, uh, fire them. Uh, you know, give them yeah. a chance. You know, but you know, just yeah. one chance, I would think, um, because you don't have enough fun to give too many chances, like Microsoft or a big company. You know? uh, yeah. yeah, 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 and that's and that can be like a you know, a hard one to accept too, right? It's it's yes. kind of scary. You're like, oh man, I have to fire someone else. Like I had to fire people in my corporate job. It's not fun no matter it's what. Not. Even if you know that they're not the right person for the job, sometimes you gotta be like, hey, <laughs> like I think we're doing both of us a favor here. Like, <laughs> you know, it, it is tough, but I'm glad that you touch on it because it's a that's a real world experience that other entrepreneurs can learn from and, and realize like, hey, your your first hire probably might not be the right one. You know, you, know, you gotta hire... Hire the right people, you know, and usually it's like to your weakness too. Like, do you, yes. I'm sure you've heard that, right? Like, what are you not good at that you're like, okay, I need to find someone to do this because either I A, don't like it or B, I'm just really bad at this thing in business. Right. And uh, don't, don't try not to hire your friends. Uh, even though, yeah. <laughs> even though they, they will be your, uh, they be like the, the number one supporter of your business and they might have the skill that you need, but they might not fit the culture. You know, sometimes it's, it's better to work with, people you don't know so that 
you know, you can show your leadership style and ha- and not having that emotional boundaries, you know, all kind of stuff with your your friends. So I think that's that's one thing I learned the most just to cut off that tide. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um. So anything we didn't touch on from Detroit that you want to talk about? Did you have any special experience? Did anything funny happen other than GM? Um that you'd want to talk about what else what else happened in detroit a lot of things happened in detroit and, and most of the time <laughs> it's just hearing stories uh yeah. that, that's all i hear I, I did talk to uh ben i did talk to ben i was like hey yeah. is it possible that world rising can do me like give me a certificate let's say hey, yeah. i want a third place or something you know some, oh, something yeah. for uh memories you know um uh, and that yeah. uh that's i think is it's beneficial in some way you know at least something i can show off or something like that but Decided. I talked to James, uh, James Dixon, uh, and yep. then uh, and then we we're gonna have a a scheduled interview soon. So that's what I'm looking for. But yeah, besides that, just amazing people and just great people. They they sh- they taught me a lot, quite frankly. And yeah, I, and it showed me I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to learn. Yeah, and I think the I mean one of my own personal you know um, mottos, I guess you can say, is being a lifelong learner. And like you had touched on previously too, like asking questions and just going in with an open mind. And that's something I took from the military. That was one of the first pieces of advice an NCO gave me was like, don't come in here and act like you know everything. Yeah. I was an officer and it's like, and that has served me in, in every part of my life at this point, because I said, you know, just be a sponge and absolutely try to take everything in. Um, right. Cause no one likes to know it all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so what's on the horizon with your business, and uh, what what are you working on right now? So, uh, we are working on enhancing a lot of features right now, and uh, increasing our database, potentially uh, onboarding more user, and expanding our uh, our user experience uh, slowly. Um, and that's one thing about bootstrapping is, uh, especially AI, is when you bootstrapping, it costs money for user to use, um, and you're gonna offer them free at first. So. So that, that going back to the whole saving money thing. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So, and then we, we're going to start doing some SEO content and some marketing and hopefully I'll, I'll hit a hundred users soon. Hopefully at the end of the year, that's just my yeah. goal. hundred user. Awesome. That'd be great. I'm looking forward to continue watching what you're doing. I'm going to follow up about those certificate, uh, certificates or certificate, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Like third place. I don't know what Ben told you, but I'll make sure to follow up on that. Um, I think that's a great ad. So yeah, something. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't have to be like, you know, oh, uh, I could say what just came up my mind is maybe just hang on the wall, maybe twenty, thirty years later, I'd be like, hey, that's War Rising. You know, if my kid later on was asking me a story, like, hey, I'm in there. You know, yeah, something like that'd that. be cool. It looks like a like almost like a diploma type thing, but like a certificate yeah. of like you know a third place yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So let everyone know that's listening or watching where they can find you, your business, if they want to connect, they want to figure out what you're all about. Where can they find it? Um. So they can they can go on my website, uh, Lingwave a uh, dot AI, or uh, they can co- contact me at uh, phu dot do at Lingwave dot AI. That's my uh, that's my business email. And or they can follow my company page too. Is Lingwave uh, AI on LinkedIn as well? Perfect. Awesome. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for hopping on and talking to us about your experience. And congratulations again on third place. That is awesome, especially when you were not expecting it, but <laughs> you earned it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, we are. We're happy to have you. Once you're in, you're a part of the tribe forever. So never forget that you can reach out anytime to us. Any one of us, we will answer. So, and if they don't, you can tell me because I will answer. Awesome. Um, Yeah, so everyone listening, thank you so much for tuning in. These are the amazing voices that make Warrior Rising the premier place to be as a veteran entrepreneur. Check us out, warriorrising.org, and we'll see you next time.